Hello, welcome to the Banquet Knowledge Channel. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Coffee Break Coffee Station. So this will be a double-sided coffee station. It'll be six easy steps. You will need the following items to set up your station. A gray nesting table will be the small nesting table. Clean mats, 12 ounce paper cups, sleeves, mugs, drippers, sign holders. The sternals, the regulators, and the sternal holders will be set on the day of the event. This is a dry set. Most coffee breaks are dry set the day before the event. You also need to carry a pocket lighter with you for all coffee break events. All banquet departments have a supply room. Be proactive while you're in the supply room. Ensure that you get all the necessary equipment. Time management is very important. If you follow these steps, it'll minimize any delays. Make sure you read the BEO and your banquet management team is available for any support if you have any questions on the, about the BEO. You also need to grab a, con, a consumption sheet. If you have any questions on how to fill out the consumption sheet, reach out to your ba banquet team. Okay, let's begin. You'll need a small nesting table to start this setup. Nesting tables roll on wheels. As you can see, they save space by nesting the smaller table under the larger table. You may have heart set buffets from time to time. Uh, you'll also be using credenzas or counters, but that will be noted. And if you have any questions, ask your banquet management team. So step one, you want a clean surface, clean nesting table, wipe no, no stains. If there's small marks, that's okay. But if there's more additional marks or too many, you want to inform us, inform your banquet manager, supervisor, and we'll get that cleaned. Step two, we're going to protect the surface with protective mats. Ensure that the mats do not have stains. They're clean as well. We should have several optional uh, different types of, of mats available. If they are soiled, then you need to put them in a designated area and stewarding, stewarding department will clean those. So step three, when you're planning your setup, think of the steps that it's gonna take a guest to serve a cup of coffee and then set that in the sequence of service. So as you can see here, we have the cups, then we have the sleeves right below the cups. Step four, you want to place mugs for those guests who prefer ceramic. So it's always, you're always going to have paper and you will always have mugs. During the event, you'll need to replenish the mugs. You can also use this space here to add more mugs if you need to, depending on the guarantee. Be careful when you're transporting as well, because these mugs are very close to the edge. They can fall. So if you want, you can push them in the center. And then once you get to the state, once you set the station out and where it's going to be used, then you can place these mugs. Don't double stack them because that could also be a problem. Um, they can fall off. Step five. This is where you're going to place the drippers and the sign holders. There's several types of drippers that you can use. Uh, they might not, may not look the same, but also you need to make sure that these are emptied during the event. Don't let them get full. Uh, the sign holders, the actual coffee signs, the hot water sign, the decaf sign, those will all be in the equipment room. So we have step six. This step will be the day of the event. So if you're dry setting this complete setup for the day before, then you won't need to put the urns. What you will do is um, 
day of the event, the, the server will fill the coffee urns. Um, they might use five gallon or three gallon or one gallon. Depending on the size of the group, you may not need as much hot water or decaf, depending on how much they ordered as well. You want to light the sterno right before you put it out. Um, we want to minimize the time that's it, that the sterno is lit back house, but you want to keep the water, the coffee hot. So as soon as you bring it out, you can light it. You just try to leave them in the pantries. Don't leave them back a house unattended. The sternos, sterno holder, the regulator, that's all available in the pantries where the co where you're picking up the coffee. Again, you'll need to carry a lighter with you so that you can light all this, the sternos. You also need to complete a consumption sheet. Um, you'll get the, that from your banquet ma system manager or captain. If you have any questions, you can reach out to them. They'll answer any questions you have about the how to fill the consumption sheet. And this is how the final coffee station will be set. You always begin with the coffee first. I'm going to I will show you how to set up this condiment station next. And that's why the planning is very important because you want to make sure that they start with the coffee, the cups first, and then you'll set the condiments after the coffee urns. So depending on the size of the group, you may need to set a single sided buffet. You can follow the same steps. You see here the mugs, you see the 12 ounce cups, the sleeves. The only difference is you're going to put smaller urns, maybe three, three gallon urns, depending on the size. If it's a really small group, five people, you can use pump pots. Um, and you can see here that we're using different drippers. Uh, the tea box is still the same. We do have a small, you, you might be able to use a smaller version. Um, also the honey behind it, just don't put out too much of anything. Um, here it looks like we put too much sugar. You can use something like this. I recommend something smaller and just replenish it more often. Um, you have the lemons, the sticks, the cocktail napkins, the creamers. If you see here little, these little tags, that's, that's indicating what's in each creamer. You have the wastebasket and you have the final um, lids and that completes the setup thank you for watching if you like to leave me comments i'd be happy to answer any questions and share this video with your colleagues um, like this video if you if you like the content and subscribe thank you